When migrants either arrive at their destination or return to their place of origin, policymakers are tasked with facilitating migrant integration or reintegration. Migrants, of course, need to have a place to live, access to services like health care and education, protection from discrimination, and the ability to find work, just to name a few issues. These raise questions like which sorts of policies facilitate integration and under which circumstances are they effective. The Migrant Integration Policy Index, or MIPEX for short, aims to answer these questions. So let's look at how the index works and how it's used. At its core, MIPEX generates a summary score for each participating country that measures how closely integration policies meet the highest standards for equal treatment. We'll soon get into how this equal treatment is defined. This is useful because a country's summary score can then be compared to integration outcomes such as employment rates, education and training completion, and more. Furthermore, MIPEX allows researchers, policymakers, advocates, and migrants to understand the effects of integration policies, including the ways each country's unique conditions interact with policies. MIPEX was first made public in 2004 as the European Civic Citizenship and Inclusion Index. At the time, it was the only concise comparison of European policies towards migrants. This early version of MIPEX was a collaboration between the British Council, the Migration Policy Group, the Foreign Policy Centre, and the University of Sheffield. Since then, the project has grown into the version we have today. Currently, MIPEX is staffed by the Barcelona Centre for International Affairs, the Migration Policy Group, and a team of experts and supporters from various affiliated universities and institutes. Funding comes from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program. Currently, MIPEX contains data from 2007 to 2019 and focuses on eight thematic policy areas, which are labor market mobility, family reunification, education, political participation, permanent residence, access to nationality, anti-discrimination, and health. These policy areas are studied in 52 countries, including all EU member states and all members of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD for short. Now let's get into the details of how MIPEX actually works. Each country in the project receives a score from 0 to 100, where 100 indicates when policies meet the highest standards of equal treatment. This, of course, is a vague measurement that needs to be further defined. MIPEX cites the 2010 to 2014 European Union Work Program on Freedom, Security and Justice, which confirms that the objective of granting comparable rights, responsibilities and opportunities for all is at the core of the European cooperation on integration. Put simply, equality is achieved when all people have the same freedoms, civic duties and access to work, services, and so forth. To get more specific, MIPEX draws on standards of equality set forth in the Council of Europe's conventions and EU directives. For non-European countries, equality is defined by standards set forth in the United Nations decisions such as the 1990 UN Convention on the Protection of All Migrant Workers and the Members of Their Families and the 1979 International Labour Organization Convention on Migrant Workers, for example. To determine each country's summary score, MIPEX first looks to each of the eight thematic policy areas and uses indicators to create a score for each area. For example, let's zoom in on the family reunification theme. While the overall eligibility of migrants to unite with their families in a country is the topic, indicators get extremely specific. An indicator in this theme is the time it takes for family reunification applications to be processed. Countries that set a maximum processing duration will receive a higher score than countries with no maximum duration since it could take months or years for the final decisions to be issued. Looking at such detailed aspects of migration policies is a challenging task, so MIPEX consults with national experts in each country to get the most accurate information possible. 
once MIPEX has a subscore for each thematic area of a country's policies, the eight subscores are averaged together to produce the country's overall score. Now, who finds these scores useful and for what reasons? There are five main groups that MIPEX specifically targets, although this list is not exhaustive. Researchers clearly benefit from MIPEX's work because integration policies are translated into numbers and scales that are straightforward to interpret. For policymakers, it is also helpful because the project's 12 years of data helps identify patterns over time and the impact of policies. Global actors and advocacy organizations alike can take this a step further by identifying which countries fall below standards of equality and in which specific policy themes these shortcomings exist. Of course, they can also see which countries' integration policies do indeed champion equality. Finally, reporters and media producers can enrich their understanding and portrayal of migrant integration and the policy situations that form these experiences. MIPEX has clearly established itself as a leading resource for understanding many countries' integration policies and how they can affect migrant integration outcomes. I hope you'll continue learning about MIPEX by watching my follow-up video where I look at recent efforts to compare MIPEX scores with integration outcomes. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll subscribe and turn on the notifications for new videos. Please don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.